We are Tom and Polly, and along with our friend Aaron, we are traveling the world, driving from the UK to Australia. Subscribe now to support us and follow along with our journey. A big thank you to our new patrons this week, Harold Weber, Steve Moore, and Claudia Georgi. We really appreciate your support. After leaving Visegrad, we headed west following the M5, which starts out as a major road, but soon turns off onto a narrow track. The M5 runs along the former Bosnian Eastern Railway through the Praca Canyon, and it's very narrow all the way. In fact, it is totally impassable for two cars at the same time in most places, particularly in one of its many tunnels. There are 20 tunnels overall, all of which are unlit and three bridges. So we stopped there because uh, yeah, it doesn't look quite clear where the road ends. So we're going to walk on a little bit ahead, careful not to tread on any landmines, as there are quite a few around here, and see what the problem is. See whether we can get through. Well, this would suggest that we can't really get through. It's supposed to be like straight. It turns out that one of the bridges had collapsed into the river below because of an overloaded truck in 2017. According to our guidebook, there used to be a bypass road around the bridge, but this was a very temporary structure built of concrete pipes covered with gravel and it appears to have been swept away by floods so we were forced to turn around. Before heading back, we have a quick lunch of one of our local favourites, Burek. After leaving the M5, we head over the mountains surrounding Sarajevo and towards the mountain village of Lukomir. Lukomir was, until a few years ago, the most remote place in Bosnia and Herzegovina, with barely any tourists ever making their way there. With a new and improved gravel track leading to the village, it is more accessible now and the touristic infrastructure has grown, but the charm and appeal of the village remain. It is still the highest place in Bosnia and Herzegovina in which people have settled, and this is noticeable. It's very cold despite being the middle of July. The next day we go for a hike in the mountains around Lukomir and search for the lake that provides the water to the village. Sadly, we can't find the lake, but the views are worth it nonetheless. We leave Lukomir and head back towards Sarajevo. Mm -hmm. 
On the way, we pass by the Igman ski jumps from the Sarajevo Olympics of 1984. Like many other sites of the Olympics, the ski jumps and surrounding buildings are abandoned and derelict, but it's a fascinating place to visit. We then drive to our camp spot for the night, which is right at the old Olympic bobsleigh run. It feels strange to be able to go this close to the site, and we are completely alone here at night. Once night falls, we walk up the track with our torches until we reach the top, at which there is a viewpoint with breathtaking views over Sarajevo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video.